I'm going to put this Chinese Makuni VM22 on a Honda Dream 305. And guess what? It's going to work. Real good, too. Stick around. You'll see. Really, watch. Welcome to the carburetor section of Modern Dream Resto Mod. So I got tired of the way this 1964 carburetion stuff was working, plus the carburetors that we have on these bikes, although they work good, when they work, we have a problem finding parts for them, finding the right jets, and things are getting in short supply, especially gaskets and things that seal. So if you wind up with a junk carburetor, like I've got, no matter how much time I spent cleaning this, I couldn't get the bike to run correctly. So, we outfitted it with a modern, all right, it's modern, and it says Makuni, but it's not a Makuni. This is some Chinese coffee that happens to be the same size and the same spec and worked very well on the Honda 305. So, we made it work. And this carburetor, when it's working, is very good. Mine's not working, so it's junk. This carburetor, when it shows up from China, is junk. So we got some real Makuni jets, did some actual tuning, set the float level, and did a couple of other things, and got it working pretty well. All right, let's take a look at how we did it. Oh, this is so much better. I should have just done voiceover from the beginning. Anyway, all right, when I get the carb, it has Chinese jets in it and they gotta be taken out of there. First of all, it's jetted for a 125cc pit bike. That's not gonna work on the 305. Secondly, real Makuni jets have a real good polish on the metal and it gets better fuel flow, more consistent fuel flow through the jet. It's all important to use actual Makuni jets. All I'm doing for you is jetting it for the altitude and the temperature that you intend to ride the bike at. That's it. Everybody gets their their fuel mixture screw set at one and a half turns. Now that's important. This is a fuel metering carb, not an air metering carb like the carb that came on the bike. When you turn the screw on the stock carb, you're adjusting how much air is in the idle mixture. This screw adjusts how much fuel is in the idle mixture. It's a different way that the carburetor works entirely. This carburetor also has an actual fuel enricher circuit. So the choke actually does something instead of just being a flap. Float height is super critical and it's the same on all bikes. It's 21 and a half millimeters on all of our 305s. It's critical because of the level that the jets sit in the fuel level and it matters for the angle that our carb sits on the bike. So everybody's the same. Now you might have to make seasonal adjustments to your needle clip, up one or down one. You'll have five positions to choose from. Make sure you have a good grip on that clip and don't lose it. A lot of guys like to wrap it up in a rag. That's an old school trick so you don't lose it. When you do the install on your own bike, you'll have to open the top of the carburetor. Make sure that the throttle cable has enough slack so that the throttle slide seats all the way down on the stop. Mine fit without modification, but check yours and make sure you have enough slack. Now that you see how easy this really was, let's get this boxed up, sent out to the customer, and take this bike for a ride. Now the microphone is terrible, we're never doing that again. If you need a carburetor for your Honda 305, you can leave a comment right on this video and I'll show you where to get the parts or set you up with an entire carburetor. Thanks so much for watching.